I distinctly remember how did it all start in my life. The very thought of being an entrepreneur, it always existed in mind since I was the age of 12. Thanks to my father, like who had a company who gave me the first chance for being there. Coming to Dubai, like it was like uh, walking into the trader's world and uh, everything was new, everything was different. It gives me goosebumps even to go back and to think about 2009 when every, everything around you is drowning. The clock was ticking every day, like what else could happen? That starts settling down your mind. We have got to do something. And that's how, I mean, it all started. I got a call uh, from this white boy from North America. Say, hey buddy, what's up? What's happening? What are you doing? I said, Greg, I don't know what I'm doing. He said, okay, let me walk in, let me take a flight. And the next day we met in a hotel apartment in Berkshire. I distinctly remember that night. We wanted to build a company. We didn't know what the name would be. We didn't have a place, we didn't have an office, we didn't have a warehouse. But the very thought of building a great company, it always existed. And the next thing I know is that Greg and me, we walked into Silicon Oasis. The warehouse looked like a football stadium. And the next three days, Greg was off to Canada. And then he left this football stadium to me. And I had to figure out what to do next. As time flew by, I got support from the team. They all worked up to me and they said, Sukhdi, we want to be part of it. We wanted to build a company that can really look into deep inside the core values, patients in home environment who are suffering, how we can support them. We looked at children with special needs. Can we build a center? Can we make a change in their life? Can we help improvise? That's what we're leader went into. In a very short span of time, people were able to see our integrity. 10 years has happened. And it's, it's too short time, I believe, that which is a journey of 10 years. But there's a lot more that is still in store, a lot more that has to happen here. And all this has been possible because of the support that you've got from our patrons our partners, last not the least, each and every member of Leader Healthcare family who stood by me and saying, listen, we are part of your dream. I used to feel that I'm very fortunate to be surrounded by a team that's passionate, that reflects integrity, that reflect honesty, and they are there for you, and I can depend on them. A message is that make sure that you fight out your fear. It's you who's going to decide that line, that where I need to take that jump. You're always sitting on the fence and thinking, contemplating like which direction I would take. But I think once you make up your mind, you are right there. You will reach there. And that's a real life experience coming from me to you guys. Thank you. Thank you for everyone who is in this room today. It's just because of all of you, we have built this where we are at Leaders. Like, and I tell you, like all the success, what you see, it's all attributed to you guys. So kudos to you guys. Like if you were there, we made it possible. As far as I remember in the last 10 years, you know, Greg has not stopped calling me every single week. He calls me, Sukhdeep, how are you? Do you need my help, right? Thanks, Greg, for being there all the time. Like you've been a wonderful partner. It's amazing, brother. And, and thank you for that trust and faith that you had in me all the time, right? Mr. Sabu Thomas, Mr. Chief Operating Officer, right? He has been there standing like a rock all the time. Like whenever the emotions run high, he has been there like a hard rock. 
Mr. Ramesh, who always ensured that, yes, don't worry about Sukhdeep, the cash flows are intact, right? And then, you know, when we, I started moving out, Mr. Shoika, Jamal Shoika, thank you so much, Mr. Jamal, for making sure that, you know, like you continue to be that spirit of what leaders wanted to achieve. And uh, Mr. Servdeep, our CEO for the South Asia Pacific, I mean, we have a long association. Many of you know, fortunately, like he's, uh, we are coming from the same mom. So maybe if many of you didn't know too. Mr. Sardeep, thank you for being there. And uh, um, last but not the least, uh, Mr. Montario, Ravian, thank you for making it up again, coming all the way from Sydney, Australia, and making a big name and a fame of leaders. Thank you to all of you who have not just touched my heart, uh, who have been part of it, who have been a family. We may not speak each single day, but uh, the trust and faith that you've shown in me, um, and I take that challenge. I take that challenge that I have keep expectations for each one of you. That's, that's my role, that's my task. That's how I was built. So rest assured, I'll continue to do this, and uh, we will build a great company, and uh, we will leave a legacy for people to seed for years to come. Thank you.